Hey, what is up guys? It is Raging Fury 555 here today. And we are doing we are doing a iMovie tutorial today. So basically we have a pretty serious video because some people in our community do not know how to edit very well. So uh, here's some basic tips to sharpen up your videos and get them better. So for iMovie it's pretty limited, but if you're a beginning YouTuber, it's very good. It's very um, easy to use and handle. I don't use it much anymore except for a couple occasions. But yeah, let's get right into it. So here's a video I did a, a long time ago, like a week or two ago. And let's get through all the features. So uh, I'm just gonna go with the basic features for today. So you got Crop Fill and Ken Burn. So basically, uh, let's go here, Crop Fill. You can like move it around so it only gets a certain part of the um, of the clip and see let's go now and try to watch it now so now you can see you can only see part of the video now which is pretty cool and sometimes it's helpful sometimes you do not need it at all it just depends on the situation of course and then we've got Ken Burns Ken Burns makes the image slowly get larger and I don't use it often but it's useful sometimes so we'll go back and we'll you can guys can see how it works out actually let's go to another footage because it's kind of hard to see Ken Burns here um, let's go right over here um, so we'll put Ken Burns on and yeah okay there we go See, it's slowly getting closer to the area I selected it to go to, the end area. So yeah, that's basically it. And you can always, you know, adjust it, make it bigger or smaller. Um, pretty easy, not too hard. Just gotta keep editing and eventually you get very good at it and it won't be hard at all. So here you can stabilize your shaky voice if you check this off if you want. Um, rolling fix and rolling shutter i do not know what it means uh sorry about that and then we can go to volume you can adjust the volume of the clip if you need to um and yeah and we'll go to you can reduce your background noise if there's some light background noise in the background you could check it off and get rid of it not too hard and speed Okay, so there's many types of speed, so we'll go to a clip here and you can put it to normal, slow, fast, freeze frame, or custom. Normal is just normal speed. Slow is to make a slow motion, of course. Fast is to make a fast motion, of course. Freeze frame is basically, so right here I use freeze frame, but I didn't have enough footage for my first part of my commentary. So I use a freeze frame so it will stay on its page longer, which is pretty cool. And then you got custom. So custom, you can put whatever percentage you want. So let's say you want to put it at 500%, right? So I'm going to clip much more faster. If you want to put it at um, 5%, I'm going to clip much more slower. So yeah, that's pretty easy um, stuff, not too hard. Of course, it's just doing it over and over again and eventually you'll know how to do it. And some people were asking me how to fill in the black bars in iMovie. And I don't know how to do it exactly, but I found like a midway point you can kind of fill in the black bars. So I you put your image or whatever you want on the top over here. And you can search your Clash of Clans or Clash Royale backgrounds on Google Images and some will pop up. But anyway, here's one I picked up and I put it in here. And then what you want to use is go to the little tab right here and use green, blue screen. And yeah, so that's not too hard. Um, any music you want to use, remember, it's got to be non-copyrighted music. And you always want to put your music below here, down here, uh, not too hard. Or you can put it all the way back down here doesn't really matter either way and yeah 
So let's, let's get to the next part. What else do we have? You have a clip filter, so you can have a black and white, vintage, uh, romantic, and it just depends on the situation, what you want. Like for example, if you have a heroic moment, you could put like the glow moment to make it look all heroic and awesome. But yeah, I usually use clip filters more for montages and um, you know things like that. And you don't need to worry about these yet. I mean, if you're a beginning YouTuber, just don't worry about it really. And audio effect, I've never really played around with it before, but I'll play around with it um, in the next couple days, and I might do a tutorial on it if you guys really want it. If you guys want more like specific tutorials on iMovie, like how to do black flashes, you know, stuff like that, I can do separate videos for that. But right here, we're just doing a basic um, iMovie tutorial right now, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's always shortcuts, like you can adjust the volume here, you can add a freeze frames here, detach, you can detach audio too, which is pretty useful sometimes if you need to, um, for example, if you record a clip where you don't want the audio and you just want the music, you can detach the audio and delete it. Um, you can show the speed editor, add, and then just transitions of course. So you have a transition between two segments of your video, you can go to transitions and you can use fade to black, fade to white. Depends on the situation, but for more of our let's, let's plays, I would personally recommend fade to black or fade to white for these kinds of tutorials. Or not tutorials, but like, you know, commentary videos. If you're having more of a montage, I'll have something much more cooler, you know, like a cross zoom or a cross, cross blur um, but yeah uh, let's see what else we have here you can always put titles um, text you can either have a text by itself so we'll go back here you can put a text by itself or you can put the text on top of something um, I don't really like the text on iMovie because you can't really control it you can only put it in one spot but iMovie is pretty limited. You just gotta work with what you have, honestly. And yeah. And then backgrounds, you can use, you know, several tabs of backgrounds. I've never really used it much. And because, you know, less plays, you don't really need a map or whatever. So I don't really use the backgrounds. And then your music. Um, even sound effects, so like, you know, for my intros, I would have a, scra a DJ scratch noise, so I would put um, that audio over here to make the scratching noise when my intro is done and we're heading into the real intro and the actual video. So what I have in my audio is all the audio clips I need, like sound effects or just music in general. I only use copyrighted music for my montages because I just basically think it makes the montage sound much better. But for regular commentaries, I just put non-copyrighted music in my videos so I, I can monetize my videos. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want more further tutorials in iMovie, like something more specific, I can definitely do that for you. And it's my pleasure to do it for you guys. Um, just trying to help you guys out with your YouTube channels and trying to make your videos a little bit better. You also want to have like a, you also want to cover the black um, bars and have some music in the background. That really helps your videos. Also, getting a sharp mic will help you a lot. I'm ordering a blue snowball mic, and it should be coming um, in like a few days, so my audio will sound much clearer soon. So yeah. But yeah, if you want more further tutorials like how to download music or how or how to download music for free, you know how to create black flashes, I can totally do that for you. And just leave your opinions down in the comments and I'll look through them and try and help you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe for more content. Leave a like down below. It really helps us out a lot. And and that's basically it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.